I've never seen one like that. It's delicate. <laughs> hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Catamaran Supply. Catamaran Supply is an online marine supply company that has all of your boating needs. They even have their own plastic-free shop, perfect for liveaboard cruisers who are trying to make a difference with the products they use. Stay tuned in this video for some of our very favorite products in use, and thanks so much for watching! Top of the morning to you. Today, we're gonna bring you through a day in the life living on a small sailboat. So we gotta start out with, where do we sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Since Billy's still in bed, he'll give you the demonstration. This is where we sleep. It's a little narrow, so we actually sleep head to foot. So let me get in here and show you how it works. So this is my side. Actually, this is technically Billy's side. And there's Billy and Jetty way down here. We'll watch like movies and stuff at night and we'll both scoot over, give me some room. And we'll both lay on this side. And it's great, nice and cozy. But when you're trying to sleep, it's a little claustrophobic. Don't you think? Yeah. I don't think so as much as you do. <laughs> Just sleep better when we're the other way around. At night, we can put the computer up right here and we'll watch movies and stuff. Anything else about our bed routine you want to share? You can show them to open a hatch in case anyone has to escape. Or in case we need airflow. <laughs> in case we get hot. Which we haven't been, it's been nice and cool. We can open that up. Next up on the routine is... Brush our teeth. Yeah, and... Make coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the boat right now is an absolute disaster. We have been sailing all day and then exploring for like an hour before it gets dark and then making dinner and then going to bed. Oh, and turning on the generator and charging everything. So in the morning, we've been cleaning everything up and making sure the boat's clean before we do whatever we're going to do that day. <laughs> and somewhere throughout the day, Jay's full food or water gets dropped on the floor. Who did it this time? <laughs> Keep putting your stuff away. Jetty refuses to eat it on the floor, but as soon as I put it back in the bowl, she munches down. Good enough, that blanket's too big to try to fold down there. This is the last of our fresh water, which means we're gonna have to make our way back into civilization and fill up. Actually, no, we have we have plenty of fresh drinking water. This is just our fresh other water for like showering and dishes and stuff like that. And how much is that? Uh, well, it's five gallons or we top it off just over, but I already used like a gallon or two, so 
We got like four gallons left or something. So we have 15 gallons of fresh drinking water and about 20 gallons of water to use for showers, brushing your teeth, doing the dishes and all of that good stuff. Doesn't seem like a lot, especially if you think about like how long you take a normal shower in a house. However, we've been gone from civilization for about six days and we could go another two days, I think. So that's pretty good. And, and we honestly could have gone a little bit further. Like I think we used, we were a little bit generous with this shower and, and dishwater. We also could shower in the salt water and then just rinse in the fresh water. We just haven't done that yet because it was pretty windy and kind of cold. Uh, but maybe today that will be our saving grace for saving some more water. Now what's going on? I'm making coffee. Our lighter broke. So we gotta use another lighter to light our barbecue there. Now, the day can start. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave So take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare it's a The next order of business is Walking the dog This morning, we're also trying to turn our dog walk into grocery shopping. Kitty was our counterweight. <laughs> So happy to be on her own beach. Good girl. I'll take a sip. Okay, we got Jetty her walk, and now we're going to move the trimaran out back through where we came through this cut and we're gonna go look for some coral heads to go snorkeling. We have not snorkeled since we started this trip and I have been dying to. So, I think today's the day. It's the first calm day, super calm we've had in a long time. Yeah, it's so calm. It's hot too, first hot day in a while. So flat, calm, sunny. I think it'll be a good day. You can do it. Ready, go. <laughs> so agile you are.
Okay, like we said, we're super excited to go snorkeling today because we haven't done it in a long time and we're like headed out to find a reef and there's this stuff in the water and I don't know if it's actually what I think it is, but it's quite disturbing and it's literally everywhere. Everywhere. And look how far offshore, like not many people come out here. Like some cruisers stop here, some people from Key West will head out this way, but like I don't think it's a crowded spot. But just look at, you guys tell us what you think this is. We must have seen about 50 of them so far. So we never found a good set of reef to go dive on. And How the water's a little murky. And it's a little murky. However, we did find a really cool anchorage and it's got a nice long beach on it. So we're gonna go explore the beach. Billy's eating leftovers for lunch. Last night's chicken enchilada skillet. Three weeks in a screwdriver, I'll have that thing back together in the cockpit of the boat in no time. <laughs> Look what I just found. It's literally purple. That thing's crazy. Whoa, look at that. I've never seen one like that. It's delicate. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicate. <laughs> That's nuts. Wow, they're so perfect. You want it? Ready? Set. Hey. I got better reception through the coconut telegraph. <laughs> That's coral. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we are changing locations because the wind is supposed to come from a different direction starting tonight and into tomorrow and where we were would not have been protected so we got to make sure our spot is a-okay so we don't have to wake up in the middle of the night to uncomfortable rolling and smashing and whatnot. another anchorage we found what looks like is going to be a really cool shipwreck to snorkel and wow this 
I think it's a plane or a boat. I don't know. Looks cool though. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Well, that certainly wasn't the diving experience we were hoping for, but it was super murky. Like we were right next to the ship and you couldn't see anything. And there's people fishing and drumming right behind us. So we figured it would be a good idea to get out. What are you doing? Okay, folks, my workout was 10 squats with the purple band, 10 push ups, 10 curls with the black band, 10 abs, different every time, 10 strict press with the red band, and I did that five times. Woo! Now it's Billy's turn to work out. I did some hip raises, supermans and batmans, overhead squats, one arm rows, good mornings, it was a good workout. Well, I told you I was gonna take you through a full day in the life of living on a boat, right? Well, welcome to the world of salt water and electronics. Somehow our microphone jack is on the fritz again and none of the audio is recording, but I'll just give you a little lowdown of what's going on to save fresh water, it's always fun to shower in the salt water. And today we're actually using some of our favorite products from Catamaran Supply. And these are plastic free shampoo, conditioner, and soap bars that are good for you and the environment, which we love to use. Okay, so showering in the ocean 101. Step one, remove your sunglasses or anything that could be in your pockets before you jump in the water. Step two, do a quick little check to make sure there are no jellyfish, man or or sharks that you might be about to jump on. Next up, jump in. And this could be the best or worst part of the entire shower, depending on how warm or cold the water is. Next up is time for our scrub down. So we will shampoo, get all those luscious lots clean, as well as our body, and especially making sure to get those pits after that nice workout. And this right here is our final jump in the ocean for the day. And what do you know, more camera issues. This camera dies and we transfer over to the GoPro, which has a working mic jack. So back to real time audio. And then after I rinse off this soap and shampoo with salt water, I normally condition and then uh, wash off the conditioner and like face soap with fresh water. And we haven't used it yet, but this boat has a little outside shower, which we're gonna use right now. Yeah, it's been too cold to use. A little bit more to get sunscreen off of my face. Look at this. Nice. Cool. Jetty wants to see. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. That's how we shower on the boat. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration. If you're interested in any of our plastic free, all natural, good for you, and the environment, soap, shampoo, and conditioner, make sure you check out Catamaran Supply. When we are out in the Bahamas and nobody else is around, obviously we <laughs> take our bathing suits off and get a better clean that way, but we do have neighbors right uh, there, so bathing suits stayed on. <laughs> no bare butts today. Okay, for dinner we are making 
chicken pad thai from a box. Not the healthiest, but again, we are on day seven of the last time we went to the grocery store, so we're out of all fresh vegetables. But we have some chicken, and I have two of these boxes, so we'll make two of them, and we'll have some leftovers for lunch tomorrow. Here we go. Step one, bring water to a boil. That will take a while, so we'll be back. Okay, our water is boiling. Now we're going to add the noodles to the water and we're gonna take it off the heat and we're gonna let it sit for six to eight minutes. While that's doing its thing, we're gonna cook an egg, then cook the chicken, and then mix it all together with the salt. And somehow, somewhere, moving on this boat, I lost the top to this pot, so I'm just gonna use a plate. I'd bring you closer to the action, but the camera's dying and I have it hooked in and this is as close as I can bring you while you're connected. Okay, the egg is all fried. Now we're gonna take it out and start to cook the chicken. Garlic. That's the point of a garlic counter. No, it's the skin? no, it's not. Yes, it is. You can leave the skins on. That's how it works. You you can, but not really. It doesn't work well. But you can mince more if you have the skin. Well, off. it's much easier and less sticky. Not taking off. If you get a second, you just hammer my computer super quick. Literally three seconds. After my chicken goes in my garlic, I'm gonna put the chicken in my garlic. I hope you're getting all this. Timer for our noodles. Uh, Time to drain the water. The chicken's done. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna put this back on. We're gonna put this in here. And then we're gonna put the eggs. Hey, hey. No, Jenny. Then we're gonna put the sauce packets. And we would normally have onions and probably some peppers and lots of other stuff, but we don't have that. So peas and carrots, it is. We'll let that get all heated and then we'll feast. Bon appetit! We hope you guys enjoyed our day in the life today. Day in the life on a small sailboat. We hope you liked hanging out with us, and if you did, make sure you subscribe because we do stuff like that all the time. We're just kind of wrapping up our Florida loop trip, and uh, yeah, we'll be hopping along the keys and back up the East Coast for the next few episodes. And uh, subscribe Hi. and click that notification bell button. So we took you guys on a fun day. Our other two types of days are either working on the computer all day long or sailing slash on the loop all day long. And then the other third is one day where we film and take you guys along with us. So don't think well, every single day is like that. <laughs> some of the sailing days, are like sometimes it's half sailing days, and some of the sailing days are actually pretty fun. Some of the sailing days are just kind of long and boring. Just but. from point A to point B takes nine hours or whatever. But yeah, we hope you enjoy today's kind of day, and we won't make you sit on the computer with us all day long. That would not be a fun episode. Dessert? Every night, every night we have one slice of dark chocolate. Sometimes I pass. Only when you have multiple of these. What do we do for fun? Um, sometimes we just crash. If you don't have one already, they're the best thing in the entire world. Especially on a lightweight multi hole like this, books take up a lot of weight. You don't even realize it, but Kindles can fit a ton of books. And you can get them for free at the library, which is awesome. Online with not, your library card. Not, not Kindles, the books for the Kindles. The books, yeah, you get the books for free. And sometimes we play cards, sometimes we watch movie from the movies on our hard drive. But yeah, I'm gonna go lay in bed with Jetty and read my book. I'm writing down all my ideas in my head. 
Good night. This counts as my shower for the week, right? Uh, it's probably the only shower you've taken this week, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It counts. That's disturbing. I gotta get it. <laughs> Stop! Why? Someone's gotta edit this. <laughs> and I put that on my face. Ew! I put it on my butt. You just put it on your I other part. On my face too. You know how I feel about that? <laughs> <laughs>